So let me do it. Let me double down. Right now, I'm constantly asked about stocks that are flying. And they're not good stocks. Take Carvana, the used car play with a balance sheet from absolute hell. The house of pain. That it, 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 in a just world, so to speak, would have gone under back when the stock was traded at three bucks and changed last December. There are people who do great work in this market. Their craft is to examine the balance sheet, realize the company will have a very hard time paying the interest on the debt, maybe presume that it can't make it, and certainly it'll only get more difficult if the Fed keeps raising rates, making it more expensive to get financing on a used car because they're based on the short rates. They smell a good short. And why the heck not? After that, right, and Carvana's losing money hand over fist. Used car prices are going down, and they own a lot of used cars. Of course, these guys are disrupting the industry in a fantastic way. I love buying a car from Carvana. I had it show up at my house. I didn't really like it. <laughs> Send it back. Ah, very different from the traditional experience, right? But those who know the craft, who can look at a balance sheet, read the Fed tea leaves, and notice the decline in used car prices, they know that this company's a goner. So they bet against the stock of Carvana. They shorted whatever they could get a hold of. Remember, you have to borrow the shares before you can sell them short. And they invested in Carvana going to zero. <laughs> However, there's a whole other group of people who know nothing about the craft of stock picking, as I just described, except that if you buy the stock and buy it and then buy it some more and then continue to buy it, buy, 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 and your friends do the same thing, buy, 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 then you can sometimes crush the short sellers simply by vacuuming up all of the shares that the shorts need to borrow if they want to make their trade stick. A crush short means a higher stock. And that's why being short is much more difficult than being long. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.